Yeah, I'm here with uh, Larry Mayen, and uh, he's here at the Delaware Technical Community College for the Export Initiative uh, Conference. Tell us some about your company. Okay. Um, we were uh, formed by three ex-Duponters, technology managers, uh, and we were all involved in supply chain and various aspects of tracking uh, goods through the supply chain. And out of that experience, when we left DuPont, um, we were continuing to work in the supply chain logistics area. Uh, we developed a concept for uh, uh, invention of a new technology, which we call an indoor GPS system, because GPS from outdoors doesn't work well indoors, particularly in yes, in uh, problem inside in, in, in steel buildings like most industries have. Yeah. And the reason why that would be useful is um, we've never had the ability to uh, track. Uh, indoor traffic from like fork trucks and you know other materials handling vehicles and so we developed this technology uh, spent about five years getting a patent on it uh, which we just got last year we went to the market with our first product in 2007 and the value proposition that we're giving to our customers is is we're so accurate in tracking the vehicles that we can track the pallets that they're carrying and so the uh, drivers who drive the Ford trucks now don't need barcode scanners, don't need clipboards, don't need to type anything into computers. The vehicle automatically tracks all the inventory itself. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you can see how much time and how efficient that would be for especially uh, anyone who has a warehouse or yes. a man large manufacturing facility. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically when we're out looking for customers, you know, it's, it's any place where you see a fleet of Ford trucks. Um, and our value proposition is that we make the fork truck drivers much more productive because we're taking something away from them they don't have to do anymore. Right. Which, by the way, they're really happy. They hate doing that part of the job anyway. Uh, so now they can just focus on driving. Uh, the operation becomes safer, uh, becomes more secure, and the accuracy, of course, of inventory uh, really goes up right. as well. So. so what brings you to this conference today? Well, um, we were asked to participate because we have used the, uh, a lot of the services uh, here today. Um, we've used the XM Bank. We think it's a fantastic uh, service for uh, U.S. companies to export. We've used the commercial service. When we went to Europe to find partners who would sell our product for us, the commercial service, uh, we told them what kind of companies we were interested in. They went out and found the companies, promoted us to them, set up uh, dates for us to visit them, um, and if we had wanted, we didn't let us use the consulate to do meetings right. with these customers. Uh, so we got our first three distributors over in Europe uh, from you know the, the uh, service set that all for us. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you don't think of it as exporting. What was your line there? <laughs> I, the, to, to us, it's just doing business. Uh, you yeah. know, um, it, it's really uh, supply chains are global. Um, finance is global, uh, product flow is global. If you've got a solution that you know uh, works in one area of the world, you know uh, it probably works everywhere. So there's really no reason, from our perspective, to uh, you know not consider the whole world your market. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thanks.